Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this equation, x squared y plus y squared z equals 15, y squared z plus x z squared equals 25, and x z squared plus x squared y equals 30, then the goal in this question is to find the value, the numerical value, the product of x, y, and z. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So given these three equations, the goal is to find the product of x, y, z. Now, to start our solution, notice given these three equations, we have two terms consisting of x squared y. We also have two terms consisting of y squared z and two terms consisting of x z squared. So our first step to answer this kind of question is what we're going to do is to add these three equations. Because if we do that, we have two times the quantity x squared y plus y squared z plus x z squared equals 15 plus 25 plus 30. This is just 70. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, we get that the sum of these three is just 35. Now from here, let's focus on this result because... If we use the first equation, because we know x squared y plus y squared z, this is just 15. So these two terms simply equal to 15. So it means our equation becomes 15 plus xz squared equals 35. Now we get the value of xz squared by subtracting both sides by 15 and xz squared simply equal to 20. Now from here, let's set aside this result. And now, let's use the second equation because this second equation says that the sum of y squared z and x z squared simply equal to 25. So these two terms adds up to 25. So we have x squared y plus 25 equals 35. Subtracting both sides by 25, we have x squared y simply equal to 10. Again, let's set aside this result. And finally, let's use the third equation and it says that the sum of x z squared plus x squared y simply equal to 30. So y squared z plus 30 simply equivalent to 35. And when we subtract 30 on both sides, we get y squared z simply equal to 5. Now, using this three result, we cannot get the value of the product of x, y, and z. So what we're going to do is to multiply all of them. Because here we have 3x, we also have 3y, and we also have 3z. So the product of the left-hand side simply equivalent to x, y, z raised to the power of 3. And on the right-hand side, 20 times 10 times 5, this will give us 1,000. And let's focus on this result. Because 1,000 is simply equal to 10 raised to the power of 3. Now, if we get cube root on both sides, this raised to the power of 3 is gone. Therefore, we can say that the product of x, y, and z simply equal to 10. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given these three equations, then the product of x, y, and z simply equivalent to 10. And as always, we are done.